Hey Libra, welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. This is going to be a Mercury in retrograde reading. We're going to see what messages need to come out for you in regards to love. Mercury in retrograde began on the 21st of April and will last us until May 14th. So we're also still in the energy of a new moon in Aries, the second new moon that took place in Aries. Um, and we're still in the energy of the total solar eclipse. We'll la that energy will last us until 2025. So we do have um, a lot of shifting of energies around us. So we're going to see what messages need to come out for you. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. And this is how Mercury in retrograde is going to affect your sign. You may be in the mood to settle debts and evaluate the level of return on your investments. After all, Mercury will station retrograde in your 8th house of transactions on April 21st, which may bring up some financial conundrums that still require your attention. If your money is unaccounted for, it's time to locate where it may have gone, especially if your assets haven't been particularly organized. However, this retrograde may also have less to do with money and more to do with the process of letting go and moving on. You may find yourself realizing that you've stayed in a situation way past your expiration date. It's time to make peace and set yourself free. And with a total solar eclipse in Aries lighting up your descendant, descendant just one day before Mercury stations retrograde, you can expect this experience to occur at the same time you embrace major emotional shifts in your relationships. All right, so let's see what is coming towards you. I do offer personal readings, but um, it is on vacation mode. The link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box of every reading. So even though it's on vacation mode, you can head over there and check that out. At least favorite the shop for now, and then when I reopen, you'll be able to see the um, the readings that I offer. I'm on vacation mode just to get caught up on life and personal readings. Um, so yeah, so I'm just doing that. I do feel it will be open by the end of the month. Um, I plan to have everything taken care of at least by the 30th of May. So hopefully everything goes the way I anticipate. All right, guys, let's see what needs to come towards you. Sun, 30. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Look at that. And what comes to mind when I see the sun right here is Leo energy. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign, specifically um, a Leo. You may love sunflowers. You may be dealing with someone that loves sunflowers. And look at what the next card is, the lovers. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. All right. I'm going to do messages from the person that you're dealing with or thinking about. And pull Scrabble tiles at the end. So do stick around to the end. We've got, I know this is more than a relationship and that there is a higher purpose to our connection. The person you're dealing with, you may feel a soul tie to, a soul, a soul bond. I can't fully be there for you as long as this other person is in my life. I know it's hard for you, but I have to go through this experience in order to heal it. For some of you... You may be dealing with someone that is, you know, leaving a marriage, leaving a relationship, not happy where they are. Um, you may be dealing with someone where, you know, you may have found out you were a third party. Because with lovers here, there are two paths ahead. So I feel for some of you, it's going to be a decision between two people. Not all of you. I've hurt you and I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me someday and understand I was just reacting in fear. And the next one. 
You need to wait for divine timing. Time is healing our wounds and creating the perfect conditions for our reunion. And my other half just turned on the vacuum, so I apologize for that if you can hear that in the background. Contracts, career, commitments, until debt tears us apart. Now remember, this is the energy of taking care of your finances, of taking care of the security for yourself. Maybe not making any big purchases during Mercury and retrograde. Do pay attention if you're signing any contracts or any forms, any agreements. Um, you know that you read it in its entirety during Mercury and retrograde. But like I said, what does stand out is contracts. So you could be dealing with someone that may be li living with someone and they're trying to get out of that arrangement. Could be um, separating from someone, like a divorce, and needing to go through that. Take it as it resonates, guys. Reflection, projections. What comes to mind with these two? <clears throat> are definitely two people going through some fears and anxieties on their own. You know, each having some past connect, like past hurts, past pain that might have affected both of you being together. Things that you need to still heal from before you can thinking about getting in deeper with someone else. And here's the winter. Now their birthday may be in the winter. They could be like a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, um, and then a Pisces. You may have last heard from them in the winter. But remember, for some of you, it says we need to wait for divine timing. So it might not be until the winter. It may be a message that needs to come now, right now, to give you hope for, you know, that season. And then apology and forgiveness. Yep. Yep. And like I said, I do feel a few of you are going to need to make a decision. Oh, thank God. I didn't get messed up. My other half is going out today. So believe me, he would scrub the roof if I asked him to right now. Because he's so excited about hanging out with his friends. of Libra spirit doing Mercury in retrograde the energy of my Libras look at this this is, goes with what I read on how it's going to affect your sign walking away from something you know for some of you you may have just separated from someone um, walked away from something that you just knew wasn't going anywhere and this also could be the energy of during Mercury in retrograde you go you having you know a disagreement an argument a fight that causes you to walk away this is Gemini energy I'm sorry Pisces energy so you could have Pisces Pisces strongly in your chart I do feel that with the disagreement there might have been harsh words um, like negative things said to one another because the five of swords is at the bottom of the deck All right. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like you did. You parted ways and you moved on. It's like you're trying to think of your future and you're trying to create that plan to move ahead. The energy of the person that Libra is dealing with or thinking about. Three of Cups. Now, in this card, it's definitely the energy of reunion. It's definitely the energy of a celebration. So you may be coming in contact with someone while you're, while you're out with your friends or maybe um, with your coworkers or family. So do be more out and about. Um, we are in spring for the northern hemisphere, fall for the southern. So it is that beautiful weather to get out and be 
more connected with the universe, you know? And it may be when you run into someone specific. This also could be that third party situation where you're going to need to make a decision. You may have somebody else already. Um, they may be dealing with their own third party situation. Water energy. Yeah, I do feel for some of you it's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I've got Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. The past energy. So the past energy with you walking away, it was divinely guided. I feel like it's something that weighed on you and you thought long and hard about. You've actually manifested the ending and the walking away. With something that doesn't feel right and you think about it so much, you know, the universe intervened. They said, you know what? You do deserve better energy. This isn't the best energy for both of you. And I feel it was divinely guided that the two of you parted ways. What does the future hold for Libra and this person? The Emperor. Look at this, the Emperor. Somebody who knows what they want, does not want to play games. I do feel that this person is coming towards you um, in, a, in a proper manner, knowing what they want. If it was a third party situation, I feel like they're walking away from their third party and coming towards you. It's like they want to right the wrong. Okay, King of Wands, definitely strong fire energy here, guys. Fire and water. Yep, they're going to make that romantic gesture. We do have a lot of masculine energy here. So divine masculine energy. Now, take it as it resonates, but I feel like they're coming towards you to offer you something abundant. They're going to make that romantic gesture. For some of you, you're going to actually hear an apology. But see, it's like this ending needed to happen for there to be growth. For there, for I feel the two of you to overcome some fears, some demons, you know, some things holding you back from your past experiences. But to come back stronger. I think my puppy wants to come in. Give me one second. Come on, baby girl. I know. Is that scary for you? The vacuum scares you? It's okay. You could be in here with me. All right. Look at this. I told you I was feeling a soul contract. Definitely feeling a soul contract, guys. Your best friend, your lover. The one that holds your heart together. They may have like facial hair or like a goatee that goes into kind of a beard. It's almost like two different decks, right? But if you stare at the facial hair for if you're dealing with the divine um, masculine, it's like the same type hair, almost the same person. But this, this lady, this girl, had, lady, woman, this woman, has red hair, blonde hair over here. But this man looks exactly like the same type man. Okay. But there's, there's that reason. It's like even though you've tried to move on, you still, you still feel connected to this person. Yeah, I feel like it, you've both made the effort to try to move on. But it's what you're manifesting. You're trying to move on. And you're creating that plan for yourself. And putting your, you know, your actions into it. However, your thoughts and your emotions, they still go towards this person. So that's what's manifesting the two of you to come together. I also feel it's the same type energy for your person. And there will, look at this, the emperor and the empress, guys. There is a soul tie here. A very strong soul tie. I'm picking up on a lot of Leo energy. 
We have Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, uh, Cancer again, Sagittarius, and I just keep, I keep being drawn to the two paths. So I know you walked away. Are you doing that well for yourself and you're proud of where you're at? You know, really think about this person less and less each day and you continue on the path to be alone towards, you know, something different, something new in your life. Or with this magician here, are you manifesting this apology, this return of this person? And like I said, for some of you, it is going to be either a third party or you're dealing with someone that's leaving another relationship. Believe where this also could be your energy. Take it as it resonates because it's not a personal reading. So flip it as it applies. But I do see an apology and look at the bottom of the deck, the sun times the sun twice. So there's definitely happiness. What either path you choose to go down um, with this Mercury in retrograde energy, it's going to bring you happiness. For those of you that choose the path of still going forward, individual, you know, on your own, that's because your heart's already separated from this connection. So of course you're going to find happiness. But I do see a reconciliation for some. Yeah, see, there was arguments and there was fighting. We have 11 and 12 here. So we are, with this Mercury in retrograde, with this sol total solar eclipse energy and this new moon energy, it's like a shifting in energy. It's like going to be the broken bridge of communication is going to be fixed. It's going to be restored. And this also could be if you're dealing with somebody who's leaving another situation. It's I, I don't feel like it's a very happy situation. But Venus, the goddess of love, was at the bottom of the deck, Libra, and you know that is what rules your, your house. So you are being protected. And look at this. Those tears of sorrow that you've cried over walking away, over this ending, they're going to turn to tears of happiness. All right, let's see what else. For some of you, your person could live a distance away from you with the compass. But this is also the energy of being at that crossroads and picking your path and moving towards, making a decision and moving towards it. We have two, 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 two here. And we have three, three, three. <clears throat> See, it's like I, I do. I feel all this energy shifts that we're going through right now is going to be a catalyst to get this, this moving. And then there's a good omen that's over this connection. With the Wheel of Fortune here, even though it was divinely guided for you to walk away, like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is still here with the sun and with temperance. So this is divinely guided. Them coming towards you and offering you an apology. And Libra, maybe for some it's you who needs to extend the apology. But it's divinely guided. There's a good omen over the two of you. All right, let's get Scrapple Tiles, guys. All right, we have R, E, <clears throat> F, O, A, I, T, B, and there's a U. So we have every vowel, and the rest are repeats. So for the letters, we only have R, F, T, and B, and then we have every vowel. So guys, take what resonates. Again, um, my Etsy shop, the link is down below in the description box. It is on vacation mode right now, but if you head over there, you can favorite the shop. And then once it reopens, you'll be notified that the shop is reopened and you can check out the readings that I offer. 
Um, also, just a quick reminder, I'm giving away those three free love readings for the month of April. So if you're new to my channel, I'm grateful you're here. Go ahead and subscribe. And each month there's a monthly giveaway. This month will be three free love readings. Um, each month it's different when I offer. Sometimes, like around the holidays, it's a monetary gift card. But by subscribing, you can take part in these giveaways. And for this month, it's just by subscribing and leaving a flower emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of April. And at the end of April, I remind you to check your notifications because I'm going to randomly choose three people and be reaching out to you, letting you know that you won. All right, guys, have a great upcoming week. <clears throat> and I will be back for the beginning of May readings, okay? Love and light.